Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Japan Time, time for Japan, time, podcast, time, 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 time was it? No, so you see, the world's worst podcast. I, you know, I want to clarify <laughs> something really quick. Cool. No, I said podcast, this is called Japan Time, why in the world did you warp it? I, I didn't warp anything, that was exactly what you said, those were exact words. Yeah, no. I have the video you know, evidence. the end of the episode. Like one tenth of what Nick says is lies, and like then like four tenths are puns, and the rest is just regular. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's bloody. <laughs> How did you know? No, no, one, no one truly knows the sorrow that is. All right, so in this podcast, no one wants to know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what he does. <laughs> So this is week two, okay. and we have a guest on. Say hello, Ian. Well, not really. Hi. We have a guest on. Yes, he's yeah, a guest. He's a guest. He's a guest. No, he's, he's not, not a regular. Like, he's not, he's not a regular crew. like member or anything. Like you know, he doesn't play D and D with us. Like once you know. he's on for more than one for more than two episodes, he's officially a member. But we were only, we've only been on one, so we're friggin' guests too. You know? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> everyone here is a guest. <laughs> we're the OPs, the original podcasters. I mean, of course. Work still. It went horrible. So, topic this week. Any ideas? Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seriously? How, how about something concerning Japan? Huh? Like, do we know anything about Japan? Uh, dancing is no longer That's illegal not there. That's Dude, not Japanese politics. You can get you can get pretty much anything in bloody vending machines. <laughs> yeah, just walk around. Oh, look! Like, like, um, I saw a video, and there's like this gambling vending machine. You just put in ten bucks, basically, and you basically get anything from stickers to a Nintendo DS. You can get a DS. Yep. Just I saw someone get like an iPod out of it. It All was right. pretty cool. So something somewhat related to uh to uh Oh yeah, Japan in some prick. In some way, shape, or form, because you know that's what this podcast is about. Power Rangers. Right? The most Japanese thing there is. Their thing, yeah. Well, they have their own Power Rangers. <laughs> they literally do. Yeah, it's after called... America was like, after America was like, oh man, Power Rangers will create like fifty dumb bloody. It's called How Common many, Rider. How many Power seasons Rangers of Power Rangers is there anyway? I'm looking that up I don't now, know, but they all suck. <laughs> because I know there's two dinosaurs. There's one space pirate one, I think. There's like three in space. Uh. There's that other one with the crystal crown or whatever. Oh, uh, Operation Overdrive. The magic one. The ninja oh. one. The other ninja one. Uh, I didn't yeah, I don't think of anymore. Here, don't forget the samurais. Right. Here, like samurais. Yeah, Super Samurai. Alright. Oh, yeah, there was also Megaforce, where they just took better seasons of Power Rangers and put them into one season. But... They're literally the same show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh so. man, it's the bad guy. Oh no, he's super powerful. Better form the giant robot we could have done at the beginning of the fight to save so much trouble. And, and then we do the Power giant Rangers fight the... and we question, win. Question, question. Yay. Was Power Rangers the origin of like the giant fighting robot genre or whatever? No, that was Common so. Rider. No. It probably was. What? Uh, Power Rangers is based off a oh, uh, uh, show in Japan called Common Rider. No idea. Alright. So, the Power Rangers have been Muddy Morphin. They've been Zeo. With just basically a Zeo crystal. Just give us the number. Stop telling us how many bloody ones there were. I don't care. <laughs> there was also <laughs> Power Rangers where they were just driving cars around. Then they went to space. Twice. Then they. But this isn't even like the same set of people. They, they like change every different season. I mean, They're just but... like, you know, it's screw it. We don't need Besides this. Besides the first oh, three yeah. seasons. Oh, and then 
They were time travelers. They were light speed really? rescue. They were wild animals. They were ninjas. They were dinosaurs. Yeah, they all, they went... all these fights ended in the same bloody thing. <laughs> what are they oh no! Oh no! The bad guys grown to super proportions! We At... better form the giant robot, guys! <laughs> <laughs> then they formed the giant robot, and that's it! <laughs> Every fight. At which point, they went back to space, and then they became wizards for some reason? Then <laughs> it's just so confusing. It's and... so confusing. Wasn't there a time traveling one? I think there was a time travel. Yes, one at some I point. went over that. Said that. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was also where they just used construction equipment cars. Like there was a literal like bulldozer. I don't know why. Then they became jungle cats in Jungle Fury. And then Oh yeah, that was one. There was RPM, quite possibly the worst Power Rangers season ever. Because it Why do you know that so well? You don't need to know. That it at least has the worst opening out of all the Power Rangers. Then, really? Yes. All the openings sucked. Good. No, no. It's not... Dude, Dino Thunder's pretty good. So is Mystic Force. Anyway... Afterwards. Did we mention the original one, the original Power Rangers seasons yeah. yet? Or... Yeah, we did. Okay. Then there was also Samurai and Super Samurai. Wow, such a right. big difference. Then wow, they became samurais twice. <laughs> then they and became. They to save... oh. Then they became a Mega Force, and finally this year they. Oh yeah, there was the Space Police one. There was the Space Police. I one. went over that, Ian. Sorry, I just didn't hear. Not even paying attention. Oh, damn it! Why are you even on this podcast? Because I'm here. All right, that's a pretty good reason. And then Dino Charge, which is dinosaur. All right, so, so um, how many is that? How many times have they bloody saved the world by fighting in a giant combining um, robot? <laughs> once a year, every year from 1993 all the way up to 2015. Oh, oh my god. I know, I was surprised. Like, 22. Like, when I was super into Power Rangers, <laughs> which was like Wild Force to RPM, I was, I when I went back to see, like, oh yeah, Power Rangers, that's a thing, I was surprised to see that there was a new one every year. Yeah, they just want to keep on getting kids... Get... Because they can literally just cookie. They can literally just copy and paste the bloody show. They just need a new theme. This time we'll use the power no, of friendship. Right? No, that's too. That's too close to other, anime. That's too close to other intellectual proper, properties. Um, yeah. Like basically uh, every shonen anime will use the power of friendship. Yeah, that. But and, sometimes uh, it's the power of non-friendship. And it can and also be edgy. It can also be the My power of powering is... up. Oh god damn it. There's that. Literally just boost. Alright. I, I think we've exhausted everything. On, on, on okay, so I wanted to bring something up. Like just go into the virtual world and fight viruses. Alright, go ahead, Dom. I wanted to bring something up. Nick. The villain's name is Trojan Horse. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> so wait, what's Chris playing? I'm not playing anything right now. Get out of here. What are you talking about? You're the one who's playing something, Ian, with your Hearthstone. Are you still only... playing Hearthstone? You're still playing Hearthstone! Yes. Get out Why? of there! I'm in the middle of a match. Concede! Momentarily. What's wrong with him playing Hearthstone? It's bloody fine. Because right? then he misses important things like me mentioning all of the Power Rangers, and then he brings it up again. Space Pirate Power Rangers and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, Nick. Yeah? You remember how last episode you were talking about... I remember I mentioned uh, I wanted Renderball to sponsor us? Yes. Well, you ruined it. How? 
Remember when your whole spiel about uh, you mentioned Nestle ch- uh, chocolate? Yeah. Turns out, uh, freaking Wonder Balls were made by Nestle. <laughs> what? You screwed my chances. <laughs> it's great. Great. They also went out of production a long time ago, and I think they're now owned by Germany or something. And ich- they completely discontinued the product. Is the only German I know. Ich bin Nudelstump. What the fuck? It means I'm Nudelstump. I have no I idea what that why. means. I don't know. <laughs> well, ich bin is I am. I know that for sure. Ich the other thing, I'm not sure if that's a word. Nudelstump is probably a word. Considering I said it. I, that's racist. Anyway. How, how is that racist? I don't know. You just, you're, I think you're just a racist, buddy. I don't know. I'm mean, probably. Uh, I just, got, I just I mean, look at your picture. My, you think that guy is not a racist? Mechanico, and I got three taunts at once. Ian, we're I, not. That's just kind of insane. That that's kind of off topic right now. We're, we're not talking about hearts. We're talking, we're talking about, about Wonder Ball here. Wonder Ball. Oh yeah, Wonder Ball. Here's in point. You ruined my chances, but they were discontinued anyway. All right. So, in any case, I didn't do anything. Yay! Well, if they ever come back, they're not going to give me a sponsorship, that's for sure. Well, that's only if they find it. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're going to find it. Of course, we're the most popular podcast on the planet. I mean, yeah, we're right up there with the Rooster Teeth podcast and the Serial podcast. I only know the Serial Teeth one. What the fuck is Serial Podcast? Um, Serial as in Serial Killer, not the seri- not the breakfast cereal. Oh. Uh, okay. It's apparently really popular. Never heard of it. Alright, next topic. Anyone, go ahead. No, don't, don't you sit there in silence. There you something. go. Why? Was it sp- I was told going? you guys to come up with something to talk about. A talking like two point. Weeks ago? <laughs> yeah, two weeks you've ago. had two weeks to think of something. We forgot. And you squandered it. No, I okay, did. I actually just did something. You can't tell me I squandered like something when you didn't give me the opportunity. How about Pokemon? All right, yeah, that's that's cool. Pokemon. Yeah, but literally, you don't play Pokemon. Nick doesn't play Pokemon. I play Ian Pokemon. Barely plays Pokemon. That's I play the Pokemon. The only reason we're so we that's why yeah, we you two it. barely play Pokemon anymore. Dominic doesn't play Pokemon. I'm new, and I play. Pokemon. I, mean, I so, I've been playing Pokemon less. I talk about Smash. Smash? No, I because I play Smash. Dominic doesn't play Smash. I don't really play Smash. It's just sort of there. Uh, the only real person that here that really plays Smash, just for like, for like I don't know. I think that'd be me. Yeah, that'd be you. You're the only one who like you purple an, plays Smash. I can tell you an interesting story from the game Ark Survival of Wow, that, my that, words. That has nothing Ark, to do with Survival Japan, though. Um, it game. might as well have it. This is weird. All right, go ahead. So, you know what Ark is, right? Yeah, dinosaurs and such. Well, people tend to go a little bit fucking batshit insane in that game. Like, I think they take role-playing a little bit too much. So while I was just getting my bearings together, like first life, you know, getting everything, box and what wood and whatnot, I came across a town of people running around a freaking totem pole and chanting some gibberish. And as soon as they saw me, they decided to pick me up with a giant bird and feed me to a megalodon. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about Ark? Yes. Wow. Ian, this is why you need to hilarious. stop playing Hearthstone. Oh, yeah, isn't Ark free this weekend, Jordan? Yeah, stop playing. So yeah, that game is freaking weird. Like, people just don't care. Everyone's like a fucking boss and just fucking insane. The totem pole must have been pretty cute. Wink. And they worshipped it like a god and fed me to the Megalodons. I'm pretty sure one of them said sacrifice me to the Megalodon gods. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking terrifying. Yep. I'll be fine. Also, I found out you can pick up people with birds, so that's a thing. You didn't know that? And not until I bought it. Wow. Anyway, so 
I guess I'll go next. For the past about right. for the past about four no three days, I basically with all my free time just been playing Diablo three. Because patch two point three point oh is out. Yay. Fun. Oh. I just been gearing stuff. I've been playing a lot of Barb Barbarian. Yeah. All right. I played Witch Doctor, I think. You have Reaper of Souls? Uh, no, that was just the free trial. Oh. Like, years ago. Alright. Witch Doctor, basically, he summons pets, and that's the only build he has right now. That can actually yep. be good. So, Ian, what have you been doing? Uh, let's see. Working on my comic with George, actually making progress for ones on it. Um, let's see. Doing okay in school, I suppose. Um, let's... Uh, wanting to get my computer upgraded so it doesn't have an i3 processor, because it sucks. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. just, in general, upgrade your computer. Don't just focus on one aspect. Maybe, like... Maybe just purchase a new computer. No. I need, a, I, need a, I need a completely new computer because an i3 processor you you can't just re you can't just replace the processor you have to completely replace the computer if you want to replace the processor. I feel like that's not true. <laughs> I feel like that also is not true. I don't know much about computers, but you can they're pretty much just parts that it's work changeable. together. Yeah, they're all most of most things are interchangeable on the computer. And processor you... is one of those things that's hard to replace. Well, you can probably oh, you probably you probably, probably just need a few components and stuff like that. Like you need to use the whole time to replace the processor. Right also, uh, Nick, before this goes any further, just because the name is super whatever the fuck, Japan. Yep. It really doesn't mean we're just solely on Japan. The only reason I said that was because the conversation before we were, you know, recording was about anime. Why did we become like a completely Japanese based podcast? <laughs> because because it's in the name. I mean Rooster Teeth has a podcast, but they don't talk about roosters or teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Alright, I found a topic there. Go to that. Alright. No. No. What the fuck no. just happened? You went on no. robot. Oh, it's a fall 2015 anime. Let's go to that. Yep. Right. I don't what? want to. Why? Do we have what to? Is? Yes. This is just like a page of anime. I haven't even heard of half right. of these bloody things. Exactly. That's why we're going to oh, go what? through no, this. I I've heard of one. I've got it. 36 days. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. So, Wait, what? so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through this list of anime. I found one. All right. I did it. I've, I found what I got. Mine. I've called it. What the fuck is going on? We're gonna read the plot summaries, or like the <laughs> whatever it's gonna be about, and we're gonna give our first impressions of it. There, we have something related to this? Japan. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, no, you're mine. literally forcing mine. us to read stuff we don't really want to write. <laughs> read. I got mine. All right. Dude, yeah, I got mine. All let's right. Listen. Let's do it. So we're gonna go in order from everyone really find safe. no everyone find one and read that and see what the other people think. Hey, Dad. What? Oh, you know that's that's the point where you should mute your mic so that way no, you know. Listen. I don't. I, I my mic. I I don't have a mute button. Whatever. Shut up. It's, it's in no curse. curse. Stop. Psst. Now my fault. You just barged in. You, oh, wait, no, right. never mind. Do you have an anime? Yes, you, I, let's, let's go Nick I, first. Go, I have an go, anime. What you got? Um, it's Where called... Is it? It's Silver is it? Link. It's, Please tell us where that is. <laughs> it's... Oh, wait, no, there's a search button on top. Silver oh, yeah. Link. Silver Link, yeah. Alright, so... In a hidden school surrounded by monsters, young ladies... Yeah, I need to move it over. Young ladies of good families are taught everything a high-class lady needs to know. They are also completely cut off from the outside world, keeping them sheltered in this. Oh, However, a problem has got come up recently. More and more graduates are falling to 
are failing to cope with the modern world after graduation. To deal with this problem, they've decided to kidnap a male comedy student and ruin and enroll him as a student. They hope that this will be a gentle way to introduce the girls to the outside world. Kagurazaka Kimito is chosen for this oh. dubious honor, mostly because he seems you know utterly average. However, the school leaders also seem to have concluded he's a homosexual with a muscle fetish. When Kimito oh hears my, that... You know that means he's utterly average? <laughs> <laughs> when Kimito hears that the alternative may be castration to protect the girl's purity, he eagerly plays along with this misconception. <laughs> now he'll just have to survive the attention of many high class young ladies that are completely out of touch with the world. So. Isn't that if I've seen this before? This sounds like. This sounds amazing. Sorry. I read. I used to like read a lot of random manga, like literally I had a random button. This is one that came up, I read the first chapter, I'm like, what the fuck is this, and never read it again. <laughs> yep, they literally threatened him with castration. Alright, so what do you, so what do you got, Dominic, Iggy? Whatever I just thought this was up. interesting, cause why the fuck? So, Alright, what's the oh, name? Is, you, you're gonna know what this is. It's Shingeki Kyojin Chugaku. Aaron and Mikasa enter a new school, Titan Junior High. However, Aaron hates the Titans for years. Can he, get, can he get along with his new harmless classmates? Featuring all the characters from the main series, you've never seen. Uh, you've never seen them before. The series is a sure to delight fans of Attack on Titan with a human versus Titan volleyball match and a Titan rock band and much more. So if they God. made a high school life spin-off of Attack on Titan and Titans are part of the student body. You gotta be kidding me. Volleyball! This is one of those weird animes people come up in their dreams. This is like what is wait, what was the what was the anime? There was like um Soul Eater. Oh yeah, it was Soul Eater oh, yeah, not. Leader Soul not. E Soul Eater not, yeah. The, yeah. What, why is everyone doing this? Uh, it's literally a prequel okay, to Soul Eater. I, like, I kind of like Soul Eater not, just because I like Soul Eater. Alright, so... Soul Eater not. I've never seen Soul Eater. I've never seen Soul Eater not. I've seen, I've seen all Soul Eater and all Soul Eater not. So, Frick not, is wrong with you. not is obviously worse than regular, but it's not just like... Completely terrible. Like it's your typical. Oh, I'm the new girl. Oh, I can turn into a weapon. Oh, uh, so so. Um, now I have two friends. Hey, okay. and they're all like emoto. Oh, kawaii desune. And they're all just like talking about not. Yeah, and not. They're yeah, all just like good. usually. They're basically just archetypes. They have some references. Like have... Alright. So, Ian, did you get one? Yeah, did you find an anime in this list of anime? Yeah. Alright, All right. what'd you find? If it's... Uh, Comet Lucifer. The story oh, wow, takes place on the fun. planet Gift, where precious crystals called Giftium are buried in the <laughs> A young man named Sojo Lives in Garden Indigo, a prosperous mining town. Sogo's hobby is to collect rare crystals. One day, he gets wrapped up in a riot caused by his classmates, Kaon, Raymon, and Otto, and he loses his way until he finds a lake deep under the ground's mining ruins. There, he meets a mysterious girl with blue hair and red eyes that gaze straight ahead. The story follows the adventure of what happens after this meeting. A basic generic... Almost kind of Grandmog and seemingly rip off. Pretty much. Oh wait, yeah. his his friends are Digimon? No. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done. He said oh man, yeah, so he's gonna get a mech and he's, he's going to liberate... He's going to get a mech and he's going to liberate the planet from the evil company. This is like he's Borderlands. Like, it looks like the mech is being powered by a crystal he's holding in his hand. This is a Grandmog and like rip off it looks like. It could also a be like a Borderlands ripoff if he's trying to fight an evil company that's going to come in for this Animation will probably not be a little bit. Eh. 
friggin' those, precious those crystals you... gifty him. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's <laughs> sort of a dumb name. And they name it's hard to obtain him. And they just name the entire planet off this element. It's worse than unobtainium. Um, it's worse than unobtainium. Unobtainium is, in fact, unobtainable. It is obtainable. Like, they have obtained, the obtained it many times. If it's obtainable, why is it called unobtainium? Because some dickhead thought it was funny. Because it was really hard to get, and then the, they realized, oh wait, it isn't that hard to get. They suck. Technology! All right. The wonders of the town. Was that everyone? Or did Chris go? Uh, Chris, did you go? No, I didn't. All right, time All for right, round two. That. Wait, no round one still. So, so I found. <laughs> This is something that I'm just interested in purely myself. I'm pretty sure none of you are interested in this at all. Oh, dear. All right. Kido, Kido Senshi Gundam Taketsu no Orphans. Uh-huh. You it's, really like Gundam, Gundam, don't you? It's, a, it's just another Gundam anime. So <laughs> the show is set 300 years after a great conflict between Earth and Mars, known as the Calamity War. A woman named Cordelia sets out on a journey to Earth to speak for the independence of the Martian city of Chris, Chris, which is under the control of the Earth government. Escorting her is the private security company GCS, which protagonists Mikazuki Agus and Orga Itsuka are members of. When a group named Jalorn attacks CGS and Cordelia, Orga sees this as a chance to rebel against CGS and launch a coup. Mikazuki and Orga are thrust into a new conflict. To fend off Jalorn, Mikazuki rides an old mobile suit from the Calamity War, powered by a nuclear reactor, the Gundam Barbatos. And the Barbatos is described as a mobile suit that steals weapons, armor, and parts from enemies to become stronger. Okay, here's the thing I don't get about nuclear-powered robots. In order for something to be nuclear-powered, it has to have a steam generator, because that's how nuclear power works. Where the hell does the steam generator come from? It's really small. In fact, it's so small you can't even see it. And that's how it fits on there. Okay, wait. I found something under the movies. Listen to this. Good. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this freaking name because it's a lot of Japanese bullshit. <laughs> but just listen to this description. June is a girl whose words have been sealed away. She was once a happy girl, but because of a in brackets certain thing she said when she she said when she was very young her family was torn apart one day the egg fairy appeared in front of her and sealed away her ability to talk in order to stop her from hurting anyone else since this traumatic experience june lives in the shadows away from the limelight but one day is nominated to become executive member of the community outreach council on top of that she's appointed to play main lead in a musical what the fuck Okay, yeah, that is weird. But also, why would you make someone who does not speak at all the executive member of the Community Outreach Council? Or a lead in a musical. They yeah, have no idea too. what the fuck she sounds like. And they're like, oh yeah, this person will be good. She talks about egg fairy, so he knows she's probably good at singing. I mean, of course. I mean, it does take a few eggs to break an omelet. All right, so we we talked about anime. Wait, wait, That's wait. Great. There we go. We the name the name of that movie was Kokoda ga Sakabi Sakabi ta ga Terunda. Sakabi ga Terunda. Kat kat Terunda. Kat kat Terunda. Kat kat. Sakabi ta Terunda. Kakarot. I say blue blue. Kakarot. So here's a question. Hmm. Has anyone watched any, you know, Western animations? Um, uh, does, like what? does Ruby count? Uh, yes, I'd say so. Ruby counts? No. All right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wait. It's Western made. It's kind of styled after Japanese animation, but it is Western made. Yeah, um, it's kind of borderline there. First season was good, but not amazing. Some of the animation was kind of stiff at times. Thank you. And 
well, it's not too amazing, but season two really like advanced the story and all the animation was Bunky a lot died. better. Yep. And then yeah, and, and then, then that happened. happened. And then Oom died, and that sucked. Um, his name. but yep. luckily they're actually still continuing it, so yep. hooray! Yeah, yeah. I've been watching. The reason I brought this up is because I've been watching Rick and Morty. Hmm. Uh, that, show. that show is pretty damn funny. Like it's, it doesn't make All much right. sense, and a lot of it's like, mm, but it's pretty damn funny. So what is? But it's like cookie cutter though. What is Rick what and Nick? What is Rick and Morty more like? Family Guy, Futurama, Robot Chicken. Never watched any of the other ones. <laughs> you really? Are kidding me? Nope. The only reason I started watching Rick and Morty is because Dota 2 now has a Rick and Morty announcer, so I was kind of curious as to what it was. Uh, Rick and Morty is a lot closer to uh, what was it? regular show? Regular show. It's a lot closer. No, I than can that. see that a little bit. With the with the main focus on two characters, with the side characters being interesting, but not overall the main bloody focus of the show. They do their side stuff while the main characters do the biggest, grandest, dumb schemes. It's pretty funny. I'm gonna see if I can find something, a clip of like one thing that really stood out to me. Alright. Well, that was fantastic. We yeah, so besides that, anyone else watch anything that's not Japanese or Korean or Chinese or um, Hindu? Doc- I don't know. Doctor Who. That's a yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, they added the next. They added the um, Peter Capaldi season on, and I'm currently watching through that. I don't know how I feel about Peter Capaldi. I'm like three episodes in. I like him, but. He's he's not as good as um, Tennant or Smith. Like, all right. So my favorite Doctor Who season was the one with Christopher Eccleston. That one was really good. Second favorite's probably with Smith, then Tennant, and then Capaldi. Now, problem I have with Capaldi is that. His accent is too thick. It's just too much in your face, like, all the time. All up in there. It's just, like, too much. What he says is really good. I completely... Go ahead. I completely zoned you out because I was doing something. But that's an example of, like, what I thought was one of the funny jokes. Oh, yeah, I like this. This is a good picture. So, for the people, like, this isn't, I don't think you can show this, but it's the freaking pass the butter robot that Rick makes in, like, the first part of an episode. I thought was, like, one of the funniest parts that it should make, because I just like humor like that. Oh, it's on Adult Swim. Yes. All right, then. Probably be on right now. But I don't care about television. It's probably on last hour, actually. I think the last... It's 12 o'clock, right? Okay. For the freaking, like, you don't see the time right now, but it's freaking 12.30. We decided to start this really freaking late, because reasons. Why not? So, the last time I actually watched TV was, like, probably five years ago, where I just sat down and was like, I want to watch TV today. I haven't watched TV, and I haven't watched a TV set for probably five years, and I'm not going to. Yeah, I mean... I hate TV. Like... I managed to watch TV, like, last month. Like, every... <laughs> everything... That was on... only because it was my only option. <laughs> everything online is just so much better, like... You're not interrupted in the middle of a show. It's just, like, a pre-roll ad, and then you're done. You just get to watch. Unless you're watching on Crunchyroll. I'm freaking Hulu and you're dang. I know a few sites that are kind of, I guess, would be, you know, they stream them and they're not, you know, I guess not legal, but, you know, it's there. Yeah. Convenience. That's the main thing. Like No ads. And The Pirate's Life for me. 
So watching 70 hours of TV shows on Netflix is actually saving you enough time to where if you had watched that same TV show on TV with regular TV ads, you could watch another 70 hour TV show in the time that the ads would be there. I see a like. Well, the thing about this, like, an average t- American TV show is about half an hour. Yeah. Ten minutes of that is commercial. Or like 12 to 13. Uh, rough. But, like, it's always like a uh, show is like 20 minutes and like half, like, five minutes of that is credits. True. So it's like 25 minutes is credits and advertisement, and then the rest of it's the show, and by that time it's like, it just eats up so much time. It's so much better to watch stuff online. Where that constriction isn't there. And usually, like... Not at all. All right, and even with stuff like Crunchyroll and Hulu, the ads there are like 30 seconds. They're not that long. Well, on TV, it's like at least three minutes. No, Crunchyroll and Hulu, the ads are 30 minutes long. Okay, Crunchyroll, I haven't been on Crunchyroll for a while. They're not that bad. Hulu is friggin' bad, though. Really? Oh, look. Yeah, you go to you go to an ad block, and instead of like one 30-minute, 30 30-second 30 ad, it's like four 30-second ads. Some of them might even be longer than 30 seconds. So you what? could be sitting there. You could be sitting there for like... Or like like I don't know like three or four minutes watching this tiny little watching this tiny little se- segment of ads you know, on Hulu and, and then finally and then finally you move on just to watch five more minutes before you have to go stop and watch more ads. It's that's why you don't go to Hulu. It's, I, it's the same ads every damn time. Pretty much, they don't really. It's not. There's not really. Only so many times you can watch a Geico commercial. I mean. I guess the last time I was on Hulu was in 7th grade, where I watched Sonic X. So, Why are you watching Sonic X? You gotta go the fast. What are you doing? Like, gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, the, faster, 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 faster. What was the um, Sonic show where they had instruments? Oh, Sonic Underground. What? Sonic they had Underground. The theme song for that. Must have missed that. <laughs> Oh, God. Wait, I'm going to find the freaking trailer. Or not the trailer, but the opening theme for you. Oh, I the already... Thing, the only thing... Dude, I already know the opening theme. The only thing that, I, that, I, that I'm surprised about is in, like, the Sonic video games, they literally have him racing on, like, floating, like, hoverboards and in cars. <laughs> yeah, no, no, let's just skip over the fact that he's the fastest thing alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he could literally just run faster than these bloody things, but nah, he'll, he, he's gonna use a hoverboard and the car with everyone else. I think that's yeah. the same thing with, like, every game where someone's, like, super fast. Oh gosh, it looks so 90s. Triplets born, the throne awaits, a seal warns of a deadly fate. Give up your children, separate, bide your time. Fly in wait, Sonic Underground. Sonic, Sonic Underground. Sonic, they made a vow Literally that their mother will be found. <laughs> Leaders of the. I, I, don't, I don't remember this. It's been a while, but I memorized that song like two years ago for a school thing. Oh gosh, it's horrible. <laughs> Yep, absolutely. Oh, we can talk about um, cartoon shows that we watched when we were kids, I guess. Oh so, yeah, that could be a thing. Who watched Obon Star Racers? Was it just me? Oh, I did. Yay. Yep, we losers. I really liked it. It was great. Like, I don't remember what I watched as a kid. You know, I didn't watch TV as a kid. I watched freaking movies. I watched Oliver and Company. Yeah, it's freaking movies that. were like everything. Oliver and Company, Fox of the Hound, and The Land Before Time were my jam. Oh. Can anyone see, what is it? I, had the, I so, forget what the movie's I want you to look up The Land Before Time, Ducky. 
Oh wait, oh, I watched I Nemo and Slumber Little, ne Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. That that was that was a what? weird movie. That there was like a there was like this movie called Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland, and I was just no. <laughs> All right, so Oban Star Racers. They race. They're Star Racers. Basically, it's an intergalactic racing competition where if you win, you get a wish of anything that you want. Literally anything. It sounds a lot like um what's that game? Uh Twisted Metal. Oh yeah, where you get in a competition and you win something. However, it goes a lot deeper than that with a lot of themes that you wouldn't really see in a kid's cartoon show. Like what? Um, if I mention them, then it's a huge spoiler. Like, they deal with, um... Oh yeah, we're gonna be so spoiled! <laughs> from, like, a show from the 90s. It's from 2006 oh, no. and 7. What the fuck? Uh... That's when I was a kid. Anyway. Um... Yeah, I was in early 2000s as well. They go pretty in depth with death in that show and what it means to forgive and forget, like and like do the characters in the show actually die? <laughs> yes, do they, they do. On multiple like, on multiple occasions they just straight up die. Oh my god, and does the last person decide they want to be a good person and wish them all back to life? <laughs> you can see this happening. You'll have to find Everybody out. Everybody comes back to Everybody comes back to life, and the world is wonderful again. Except, literally, they all hate each other anyway. because they were killed by each other. The animation for the hey, show- Hey, you killed me! <laughs> what was this, Galaxy Star Racers? <laughs> Does anyone remember Wacky Racers? Yeah. I do. That was awesome. On Boomerang! The oh, Boomerang! Oh, wow, whatever. Who remembers the boomerang? I do. I certainly I do. do. Tom and Jerry, uh, freaking Pinky and the Brain. So it, like it was basically just a bunch of old Cartoon Network shows, and it was amazing. All right, Oban Star Racer, the end. No, don't. Right? What the? The what the freaking heck is going on? <laughs> I know. I, I, I know. I, I went to the end and I was like, I know. I, don't I know. know what happened. Don't don't say anything I about read it. The rest of it, but I, <laughs> I should have read the rest of it. But I feel like reading the rest of it probably means that I still don't understand what the hell. What the yeah, hell is this? you you probably won't. <laughs> it's yeah, it goes there. Anyway. Another one that's pretty good, uh, Code Lyoko. Nope. Uh, I remember watching that. Dude, that was amazing, in my opinion. It was great. I don't know if we covered this last episode, but what was the first anime you've ever watched? Oh, we did that. Did we? Really? Yeah. Did I have an answer? I probably didn't. Okay, okay. let's do lightning round. Just say it really quickly. Uh, Starting from me. Pokemon. Okay, don't count Pokemon. All right, Naruto. That's not. That's not fair. Okay, yeah, we did talk about this, but just lightning yeah. round because Ian's here. All right, Naruto. Okay, Ian. I think it was One Piece. All right, we'll take that answer, Chris. I don't know. Look at the last podcast. All right, I think mine was Naruto as well because of a uh, tsunami. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about this. Never mind. Yeah. I told you. So, um, Code Lyoko has over 100 episodes, which for a Cartoon Network TV show, it's kind of, wow, surprising. Eh, I mean, how many seasons of shows are out now for Cartoon Network? Oh, I, oh, does anyone here remember Tower High? Tower what? High, Tower High. Sounds familiar. No. It wasn't actually. It wasn't actually an animated Cartoon Network show. It was a live action one, but it was a really good live action one. I remember Sky High, but that's it. Um, Tower High, High was, was a basically movie. a bunch of gifted people are 
like kidnapped from their families. At least that's what we're led to assume. And then they're all in high school now, just trading for whatever. Really? Yep. They are not allowed so to. Let me lay this out as I understand it. Mm -hmm. People got kidnapped and forced into high school. <laughs> yep. They're not allowed to contact what? anyone outside the high school. Uh huh. There How are walls, electric fences, a bunch of stuff to keep them in. Except it's very hard to actually find where that stuff is. So they're all just. Is this, a def is this also a death game? Do they have to kill each other? No, it's not a death game. They could die what at any point, really. Game? Oh, this is like Danganronpa minus the forced killing. <laughs> and then they ended oh. it after one season, and it was amazing. Which, by the way, Cartoon Network does that a lot. Fortunately, anybody ever, anybody here watch ever watch Danganronpa? No. I think I remember. I remember the name. It was like basically they took they took a bunch of people, shoved them in a school, and they were like, "Hey, oh, so if you want to leave, like you have a watch list." If you if you want to leave, you have to murder someone and get away with it, and also Dengen the rest Rapa, of the people Kaibu, have to die. Dengen, it's like Dengen Rapa Kaiden no Gaken to Zetsubu. What the fuck? Is oh yeah, that was a video game. Yeah, the yeah, it was a video yeah. game. They turned it. It was a. They turned the first video game into an anime, and then they had another video game, which was like a sequel set on an island or some something. Like that. Uh, what else? And then they had like, like another, the watch list, yeah. then they had like another video game where you played as like you, you had the I don't know you played and killed so many things I don't know it was a, it was it was really I I liked I liked it it was it was cool eh. but it was but the video game was basically like basically it was um oh, what Ace Attorney. It was basically like that. <laughs> oh man, who killed this per Oh man, who killed this person? Objection! I have something to say. Using this piece of evidence, I figured out this, and now it figures out this, and that means that you're the culprit, and then that means that person gets to die in a horrible way. So, Nick, how long have you been recording? Uh, forty-seven minutes. Like, let let's make it a solid hour. That's pretty easy, right? Okay, let's talk about how about the first video games. That we ever played? First video games. Yeah, around that, like early, like first to early ish games as a kid. All right. That is going to be hard because I'm pretty sure I just I, played. I got one. Have any of you game. ever played Pajama Sam? Nope. I played a demo I, of it. I can tell, I could say like the first sort of video game I've played. I love the fuck out of Pajama Sam. Like, it's on, like, I just noticed, like, Pajama Sam, Freddy Fish, and uh, Putt Putt, like they're all on Steam now, and that got me super excited. I'm thinking I'm gonna buy those and probably play them like on two. I love those games. All right, all right. All right so that's, that's it. That's it for him, Nick. <laughs> um, well, we, can, we can keep going with this. There's a lot. I think it's it's either Pokemon Emerald or Smash 64. That was my first. Um, I That's say, fantastic. I say it might be Pokemon Emerald because I went out with my cousins, and keep in mind, this was when I was like five, I think, maybe four, and my, one of my cousins had a Game Boy on him, a Game Boy Dance, with Pokemon Emerald in it. He was in the tower of Rayquaza, where you need to use, like, the mock bike to zoom around the place over those tiles, and that so... That thing sucks. That was horrid. <laughs> Yeah, and so I just, he gave me the game, and it was like, go ahead, do whatever you want. And so I just Did it. put on the bike, and then just rode around the tiles, continuously. Whenever a Pokemon wow. would show up, I would just, like, run away, and then just keep <laughs> run, just keep going around on my bike. It was great. And then, you know freaking... List. And then it might have been Smash 64 because my dad used to play his N64 a lot and he gave it to me also when probably when I was like four or five. And it was like, yeah, go nuts. And so every day in the morning, like it took it was about a three minute car ride from my house to the, my school <clears throat> when I was like six or seven. And so every day I would always be because we kept the n64 in the car 
So every day I would be what? like, what? Hey, there's a point to this. So you get in the there's car a point for your to this. Three minute car ride. Turn on your N64. Yep. I'm gonna play a, a tiny little round of Smash. And the boot time for the N64 was like five minutes at that point in time, or to actually get into a match. So we would you wait would five press minutes. The button and you'd go to school, and then you you wouldn't get to play. <laughs> so we would wait five minutes in the car, just waiting for it to boot up. And then I'd be oh like, all right, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think um, one of the scariest experiences I've had with video games as a kid was when I was at my cousin's house and he was playing on an M64. He was playing, uh, I, was, I don't know what it was, but he was playing Majora's Mask. Oh, damn. And he was on the final night and he had already done everything. He's like, oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom. As soon as, like, whatever time rolls around, you have to play this song so that Four giants will come up and hold the moon. And he said, good luck with that. And as a kid, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? I knew nothing about this game. And so I was looking through the songs like, what the fuck do I do? And I, like, I'm panicking, and so I just used the song of time and went back to the first day. It was scary as fuck. When you don't know what the fuck's going on, the tension in that game is fucking horrible. So speaking of almost screw-ups, or complete screw-ups, I guess... Um, so my cousins also come over to my house sometimes, and, well, I had to, like, and these cousins are my, like, younger cousins. So they wanted to play Lego Star Wars 2, or 3, or whatever. One of the trilogies, I don't remember, remember, on the PS2. And I was like, alright, so, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna make a new save, you're gonna play on that, alright? And so he immediately deletes the first save and makes a new one on that. And I got so pissed off. Yeah, that's the story. Oh, Yay. No. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, and that was the file where it was basically 100% complete. And so throughout that summer, I basically just went through back through the game, got 100% again. I feel like you shouldn't have done that. Probably not. Oh, so I like, yeah. You two got anything? Oh, uh, first games? Um, so, yeah, I, pl I played uh, Smash 64. That was, that was cool. I would play with my uncle, and then sometimes my sister would play. But it was really, really stacked against me and my sister. Because <laughs> my uncle was obviously older so he's just like he would continuously beat us it wasn't really like a fair fight really like a fair fight and then the other game that i played when i was really young was the uh pokemon red i didn't necessarily yeah. play it more than i just abused the uh the missing no glitch to get so many rare candies and then i just <laughs> used those Use all the rare candies with Pokemon at level 100. Now I can literally steamroll everything. There's a, I'm unaware of this glitch, actually. So the glitch is basically in po in Pokemon in the game in cartridges of Pokemon Red and Blue. You'd go to Cinnabar Island, and then you would um you would go into your bag, make the make the item that you want infinite copies of, to the first to be the top item of your bag, like the first item, then you would sail along the edge of, of Cinnabar Island until Missing No appeared. And then once Missing No appeared, you beat Missing Missing No up, which was like this like weird glitch thing. You could you could probably look it up and see what it looks like. You'd beat that and then you'd effectively have infinite of whatever whatever item it was. Programming uh, is weird. Like how does that happen? I don't know. But it was really cool, and it really made it basically made Pokemon Red really easy. You just needed to get to I think I think the I think Blaine was like the seventh gym leader, so you just needed to get to that point, and you could steamroll through him, the eighth gym leader, and the elite four because you, all your Pokemon are level 100. Well, at that point, it's not worth it, but whatever. Um, the Pokemon Blue Summer Games Done Quick actually went into how that works, and it was basically it doesn't. Like, they have no idea how it works. <laughs> missing no. You can catch right, missing no, but he usually just transfers into me. 
first video game you played, Ian? Uh, let's see. It, I'm pretty sure first video games I ever played were just like flash games on the internet. But well, let's say console. Like... Huh? Let's say console for like just to narrow it. Uh, I know the first like game game I played was Pirates of the Caribbean Online. I doubt that was console. I remember uh, that. That's computer. It's terrible. That's computer. Computer's a console. I guess. Okay, it passes. And I'm pretty sure that's all I ever did when I was younger. Just Pirates of the Caribbean all the time. Is that why you're so obsessed with pirates? Huh? That's it's possible. Is that why you like pirates? Kind of. Alright, there's the explanation oh, for that. Let's do, oh, you know what? On that note... The reason why, on that note, the reason why I, I really like um, Mobile Suit Gundam stuff. Oh, I thought you were going to say why you like Pi. No, no, screw, no. That, that, we're never going to know that. Better. So I'll never explain why. So, um, early, early on in my life, I got a, my, uh, my dad got a PS2, and he had a bunch of Mobile Suit Gundam games, and those were like... Those are pretty much the only games I was allowed to currently play at that time. They're the only games I really cared for playing, and they were they were really nice and really fun. They're mostly just like um, 3D battle games. You choose your guy, like you choose the, the opponent. Was it like the? Is it like a fighting game, or is it like the Dynasty Warriors type game? Uh, it's like a it's um it's like a 3D it's like a 3D fighting game. It's fighting, it's but like you're like in a three, oh, okay. like in a you're like an arena, and you you fight like that. Most of most of them were like that, uh, but I never really did my. But I never really, the one I really liked was this one called MS Saga New Dawn, which basically turned it into a into an RPG game. All right, <laughs> played, cool. played that a lot. The only the only the only thing I didn't do was because like um, at, I was like really young, so I didn't know. I wasn't very great at games, so usually I would just put the game shark in and get <laughs> wow. just make myself invincible. The other thing, the other, and, it, and it was really, you know, that just made the game really easy because you yeah. could literally fight any boss. Because like, you know, it, um, I don't think people rem remember really because it's been so long since you were But video games are fucking intimidating when you're a kid. Yeah, that is true. I, I, I like weird of, like certain video games. So when opportunities for cheats like game charts and stuff like that, I was always all for it. Invincibility always seems the best thing. Yeah, like like yeah, because like I thought I I thought like MS Saga was like a pretty hard game, but I went back like last year to like play the game. I I, I picked up like one of the, one of a save file I had that was like a good por uh, like a good portion into the game. I played through like most of the game, and I was like, "Wow, this game is really not that hard." I was really dumb when I was young. <laughs> so, yeah. who, who remembers Power Rangers Dino Thunder for the GameCube? I do. No, I don't. I, I don't, even, I don't even think I saw a GameCube when I was younger. I got stuck oh on the second. I got stuck on the second level of the game. It's an escort mission. Where literally you can just. Actually, I think <laughs> That's all you needed to say. It's an escort mission. We're we're done here. You can that literally like, just press the I attack button again mission. and again, like mash all the buttons on your controller, and you would win. And I couldn't get past <laughs> it. All right. So remember when I said about video games being intimidating? Yeah. I yeah. played a. Does anyone know about a Hulk game on the GameCube? What? A Hulk game, The Incredible Hulk. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I had a Hulk game that for like the PS2. Like that sounds like no. it worked horribly. It was not good, but I would play that Hulk game, and I would always only play the first level, which was basically just stand in this one area and kill everything, because the game scared me. Like everything after the first level to me was terrifying. Yeah. Oh. So every like I think for like a good probably ten hours of my life, I just spent in that one level beating up things. All right. It was not big uh, either. It was like a really small square of land. Okay. All right. I, all right. You know, I have another topic thing, so we can sort of push towards the final vestiges of an hour. 
We, um, we just passed go, an hour. Let's go with... Do we? Oh. Well, let's continue talking. Why not? <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go. Okay. go so, um, let's go with let's go with stuff you found in video games that literally broke the game for you. Like it just made the game way too. It just made the game ridiculously like easy, and it wasn't even fi- it wasn't even fun anymore. It was just like, well, uh, that's um, the game. Bravely, <clears throat> bravely default, samurai plus uh-huh. pirate. So the pirate has a thing. Well, no, no. The samurai has a thing called free lunch, which makes it so that your skills that would normally cost MP cost no MP. And then the pirate has an ability called quadruple damage, where you do an attack, but it does quadruple damage, but it takes like over half of your mana pool. So. So you could literally just fire off ridiculously powerful attacks. Yep. And also the Ouch. auto button in Bravely Default. There's an auto oh. button where battles automatically go by without any put input by you. And this auto battle is basically the best auto battle like I've ever seen. Even if I'm incredibly underleveled, if I use the there's also a thing where it just auto does all your equipment, jobs, skills, all that. And so if you auto, you could, the, you could set the game on auto and just pl- and just let yep. it sit there. If you just that auto everything, you can get through anything, even on the hardest difficulty. Ouch. Yep. That's kind of ruined the game. Kills for me. the game. Yeah. All also, right. another thing I that killed that game was repeating stuff five times. Like that kills it. Any momentum. Right. It. Dominic. I think the only it. instance of like something overpowered that broke the game for me was Pablo in backyard baseball. You could you, would you care to elaborate? <laughs> yes. I was just hoping that would confuse you a little bit. So do you guys know the backyard sports uh, franchise, like backyard baseball, backyard football? Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't okay, know. so backyard games are really fun, like early like cd rom games for kids you know it's like just football and baseball with like power-ups and stuff and there's this one character that persists in every game called pablo this little mexican kid i believe and he's the most op motherfucker in all of existence he literally like will get a home run and every ball he hits it doesn't matter how he hits it it's always a home run in football he's the fastest little thing i swear the people who program the game is like yeah tiny mexican kid is gonna be the most op that's it. God. Number one. I mean, I know the reason okay. he's the fastest runner. That's no, no. Let's just that's not. let's just move on. Let's just move on. Ian. That and wheelchair uh, kid. The kid in the wheelchair. I did. What you? What you just lost me? Back All right, I'll go. <laughs> All right, I'll go. So, back to the PlayStation Two. There was this game called Monster Rancher Evo. Oh, yes. And in that game, you could li- you could like uh you could you it was like it was sort of like a Pokemon esque RPG style game. Hey, you yeah, could literally have a limited game for it. You could you could cha- you could uh you could train individual like stats for each of the creatures that you're thing. You took three creatures on a trip. So my team basically consisted of like this cat creature, a golem, and then this thing that was basically Jirachi. <laughs> and what I did was I trained the cat thing to have basically infinite like agility or whatever the stat was in the game. And so literally everything in the game couldn't hit it at all. So uh-huh. basically the way fights would progress was eventually was we would was like things would hit each other blah 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 and usually by the end of like a bo- usually by like the like the end of a boss fight my golem and jirachi would be dead but I'd still have my cat thing at full health <laughs> the boss literally just couldn't hit it and I could I just ran through the game it was so sad the greatest part of that game was you could have a lemon cube as a pet yeah. Like, literally also, a yellow rectangle. I always call it a cube. 
Also, another cool thing about the Monster Rancher game was like the the, the games usually had this like feature where you could like use the di- use other discs and it would like read the discs and then <laughs> and then decide on a creature that would come from said disc, which would be really cool because huh. then you because then you could like <laughs> pull out your movie collection <laughs> and sit there being like. I want that creature now, even though the cat creature, once I friggin' rank up its agility to the max, it's literally the invincible. <laughs> Every bloody boss fight. Oh, Golem's down. There are videos oh, that are up on YouTube from a guy called Azrite Reaction. They're pretty damn funny. Oh, Golem. Oh, Jirachi. And the cat thing's still alive. Cat thing was the MVP of the game. <laughs> you got anything you Yeah, uh, do you think we should end the stream now? I'm really That's tired. okay. Alright, oh, okay. Alright, one more thing he's right. okay. before we go. Um... Oh, wait. I have one short thing to ask you guys, so you do whatever you're going to do. No, I, go ahead. I could go on. Go I could ahead. go on. Alright, um, this really doesn't pertain to anything in the podcast, but do either of you remember anything that happened Monday or Tuesday? Of what week? Monday or Tuesday? This week? Yeah. Yeah. Sort of? Not really. Remember. No, not all. Um. For some reason, Nick, anything? I remember walking over to the college. That's about it. Okay. Well, besides See, that, Monday... I talk to everyone I know. No one remembers anything about Monday or Tuesday. It's like completely gone from their memory. Yeah, but that's like recent memory. No one. Really... It doesn't really matter, really. Do you remember what like... you had for lunch last week? <laughs> No, I don't remember anything yeah. about it. I can't remember like what happened at all. Not when I woke up, not when I got home. Nothing. Um, I think on was it Tuesday that Tsurugi happened? Through what? Not that unusual. Like I don't really. No, what as happened? in in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like Princess Tsurugi with her damage. Uh, like we had the uh, six-way Princess duel. Tsurugi. And then Sudurugi happened. Yeah. And... Oh yeah, that did happen. Yeah. 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 Okay. There's something. The I was thoroughly convinced we were either found. invaded by aliens or the Men in Black. Why do they gotta be or in Matt, black? Black suits. Why can't You're they be not? in People black look... face? Ooh. People's memories wow. are really. People's memories are really bad. <laughs> I don't remember anything really. Oh, what I. <laughs> What happened? What were we were week? talking about five minutes ago. Now, uh, uh, we're talking about Monster Rancher. OP stuff in video games. Yeah, right. that was the one. Uh, Nick, you were gonna say something? Um, run button in Chrono Trigger. There's not actually a run button. It's a combination of buttons, but you can run from battles in Chrono Trigger, which is really nice because then you can just run through an area and then fight the strongest enemies there. And then if you die, oh well, there's a save point right there. And if you don't die, well, um. You can just go back to the save point and use something called a shelter, which heals up everything. So you basically just grind that one enemy over and over, because it gives the most XP in the area. Huh. Alright, so did we end it with that? Yeah, that sounds good. Well, I have another overpowered thing. <laughs> Alright, All right, we'll do, do it. that. So, um... In the, on the Nintendo DS, they had a game called Pokemon Conquest. Oh, yeah! Oh. You did a like this turn, I did. Yeah. Which is like this turn-based, tile-moving game. You moved your Pokemon. Every Pokemon had one move it used, and if you could hit, your, if you could hit the enemies, that would be great. And they all moved. Anyway, so basically... Um, they killed everything that they, they destroyed all the sophisticatedness of Pokemon and every Pokemon had attack and defense. And one one item that they put in this put in the game was uh, I think it was called the Guardian Charm. And when that Pokemon when that Pokemon was the last po- of your Pokemon on the field, that Pokemon's stats would be tripled. That sounds so, overpowered. Basically, when you had so basically when you had it, basically when you have, he, he, let's say your guy has 100 attack and 100 defense, and then like the enemy invades and they 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 all have like 80, so and there's like six of them. Well, now you have a 300 guy, so it's not gonna matter. Yeah. It also it, it was also basically ridiculously powerful because you could give one guy the guardian charm, 
invade a neighboring country, defeat all the people in the neighboring country, and then that guy would gain so much experience that that guy could then steamroll over the entire nation. <laughs> or dependent, mm -hmm. or just at least help you complete whatever objective you were trying to complete. Because it, because Conquest was one of those like annoying games where like there was the main game, and then the and then there was the after game, which was like. 30, 30 scenarios with like each random side character you could <laughs> you even think mm -hmm. of, and that was like, yeah, here's what they're do he's what, uh, here's what they get to do, and you have to get to fulfill this objective. So Go I've seen it. other people play the game as well, and uh, it's very weird. Like they all take multiple weeks to do each thing. When where when I played it, I took like one week for each thing, like. At most, it took me two weeks to take over a city, and that's it. While other people two just like weeks. five oh, weeks, ten weeks. weeks. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. In-game weeks, not actual <laughs> weeks. <laughs> like two real weeks. The frick's wrong with you, dude? It I, was... could... <laughs> I don't know why. It was just... Oh yeah, oh yeah. And another thing is items <laughs> like the guardian charm would persist through save files. So once you got a guardian charm, you could keep it through every time every time you started. <laughs> what? What the fuck sense did uh, that make? Why? So so you could literally start with an item that triples your Pokemon stats, making it basically unbeatable to every other thing. <laughs> Alright. Sounds completely balanced. Yeah. Well it is it is balanced because you do have to you do have to take into account the Pokemon types because they decided to actually include that. <laughs> There's also I don't think some. It matters when you have three times the freaking stats. Well, it does if you're a psychic type Pokemon and you're trying to hit it's the like opponent. A level, you're trying to hit... level one Oddish hits a, like a level 99 Blastoise. Super effective, but you know, what's it really gonna do? Well, if you can't damage them, because in the game you your Pokemon literally only had one move. So if you went if you went to assault a place and the enemy had one Pokemon who was who 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 didn't take damage from that move. You were just boned. That was it. There was nothing for you. You should have looked at what people were there before assaulting. Oh yeah, and and there's also I keep finding more. I keep thinking of more. Um, Hurry up, also I'm in the game. Down. Also <laughs> in the game. The peop the the trainers, the warriors that they were called, they also kept the Pokemon in the game. And certain certain warriors, the special ones that had like the after game stories, they usually got they usually got paired with like a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> so ah. once you manage once you manage to obtain one of them, it was just a it was just basically using their respective legendary Pokemon to steamroll everyone else. It's basically how war works, actually. All right, so is that it? Yeah, that's it. I don't, yep. I All right. Else. So outros go. Finally, I think you know we can skip this. I think you know if anyone's watched this by now, they know it. They'll probably be in description, I assume. No, it's not. He's lazy. Look in the other podcast. Maybe you'll find it. I don't know. All right, so maybe just actually just look up our name. Look up our look up our name. We got Chris likes Pulp pie. Chris. ASP, oh, oh, all right. We got. <laughs> <laughs> he and just decided to get out of Dodge. All right. And now he's screwed up my overlay. I'm calling him right. back. I'm calling him back. Yeah, will he come uh, back, though? I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. Continue the outro. So. So, stream, uh, stream, like, person recording this, Super Mr. Ninja, hey, I'm watching here. this on his channel, that's cool. You yeah, are. Uh, D Dominic, Iggy the Alien, he has a channel, no. go look him up. Pirate Gamer Man Ian, he has a channel, ASP Ian, uh, maybe look him up, I don't really know, I don't really know. And then I have a, I don't know, I have a channel as well. It's called Chris Likes Pie, as well. or Gamer Pie three one four. Yay! Go go on an adventure. Go look for it. And yeah, that's it. Congratulations! This is the end of the. You've reached the end of the podcast. Bye bye. Go away. Don't, Yay! Don't, don't be a good Yay. person. That never that never helps. It's, it's all right. Oh well, yeah, we're, we're gonna end it with this. So words of wisdom. So it's it's oh, really. Gosh, what's going on? 
<laughs> just, it's just this. Words of wisdom. It's it's really hard to please everyone, but it's way funnier to piss everyone off. Ah, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Yep, that's it. What, that's it. What's happening? That's it. That's it. End it. End it. <laughs> End it. Goodbye, everyone. Later. I haven't ended it yet. <laughs> you <laughs> prick. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I'm still really bad at.